Good evening all and welcome to another video on All Hounds Ale. Tonight we are in Ciderland and we're in alcohol-free Ciderland with this one, Thatcher's Zero. And it is a 0.0% cider uh, from obviously Thatcher's. And it says on the back of the bottle, Thatcher's Zero is a golden, medium dry, alcohol-free cider with apple aromas and crisp refreshment. Uh, crafted using a selection of our favorite cider apples, the blend of traditional and modern varieties creates an alcohol-free cider with body, smoothness, and character. It's best served chilled, which it has been. Uh, it's nice and cold, fr fresh from the fridge. And it says the alcohol volume is no more than 0 0.05. Uh, so it's not 100% alcohol-free. We've got a little diddy bit in there. Still less than your average ripe banana, I hasten to add. So it's a 500 ml bottle. It was less than two quid in my local Tesco. And uh, yeah, let's get it out into a glass and see what we think. So, we're gonna pour into my Titanic pint glass because it's a big bottle. And the pour is, it's good, it's got good carbonation, clearly. A nice crisp, crisp fizz to it. So there we go, we've got a crystal clear glass of cider there. We've got a little white head, not massive. Uh, don't expect it, it is cider after all. Um, but it's a, it's a lovely colour, uh, like I say, with good carbonation throughout. Uh, we've got nucleation points at the bottom of this glass. Um, so you can see the bubbles rushing up there. And uh, I can see my face through the, through the glass. It's very bizarre. It makes me look like an oompa loompa. Anyway. Uh, so yeah, it, it looks like a good pint of cider. It's not cloudy. That's how I particularly like my ciders. Um, but beggars can't be choosers in the alcohol-free world. So let's see what this one's like. Appley. It is appley. And very sweet, understandably, being a cider. That is really quite appley. Surprising. Or not really, Thatchers make a good cider. Um, but this one, it's got a real, it's got an edge to it that almost reminds me of, of fresh sultanas. Um, which again, goes classically with apples in an apple and raisin pie, that sort of thing. Beautiful. So they talk about body and having crisp refreshment. It has got a decent body to it. It's quite medium. Um, the carbonation is excitable in the mouth. Uh, it's really quite effervescent. And I expect that from many ciders anyway. And it is, it is good. I can't help but think that that raisin flavor is taking over. Um, of course there is apple there too, but it's, it's quite, uh, quite obvious that the raisin flavors are there. And I don't suspect there's anything to do with raisins in here whatsoever. It's just that slightly fermented fruit that brought that little edge to it. Um, we, don't, we don't get any mention of ingredients on the bottle at all. Is there anything else? No, nothing at all. Um, only the fact that it contains sulfites for freshness. That's it. And it's gluten-free. And uh, that's it. Yeah, there's no other clue as to what's in there at all. So, so yeah, it's, it's all right. It's sweet. Appley with a little something different. It is refreshing. It's not bad at all. So let's give it some scores, shall we? Before we go to my scoreboard, we're going to go to the untapped scoreboard of joy, which shows a rather lowly 98 check-ins in an average of 2.81. Um, so yeah, it's, it's obviously not been drunk that much by many people, or certainly those who've not reported it. Anywho, but what do I think of it? So let's have a let's have a look at the beer and go for the first pillar of judgment, which is the looks. And it's not even a beer, it's a cider. Um, so yeah, it looks like a good pint of cider. It's the right colour. You've got a nice carbonation, which I want to see in a cider. And you have got some a nice compact, what remains of it, a uh, white head, which is, like I say, quite surprising to see. All those, like I say, nucleation point is refreshing it on a regular basis. So... So yeah, it's a good looking cider. I can't knock it. Like I say, it's only, the only thing I would change is I prefer a cloudy cider. So I'd like to see some haze to the cider. Um, 
but as clear ciders go, it's a good look. It's a good looking one. I'm gonna give it the 0.75. Like I say, just a little ditty bit off because I prefer the cloud. As for the aromas, and that's something I'm conscious I didn't actually check up front. It is appley. It's a sweet and more like a dessert apple as opposed to a big, crisp, clean Granny Smith or or, um, or a Bramley, that kind of thing. It's very much more your sweeter dessert apples. Not overly strong, it's quite light on the, on the aroma, but it is fresh, clean apple. Uh, I like it, I'd like it stronger. I'm gonna give it the 0.75. The body, it's light. It's a medium, it's crisp on the, uh, the carbonation. And it's right. For the for the beverage so can i fault it no not really i can't there's no reason to give it anything less than a full point on the body the taste is where we should get truly critical because let's be honest that's what counts and it delivers an apple flavor there is that sweet dessert apple thing going on and there is just that hint of Raisins, when you've been sort of chewing raisins for a while, you get that real raisin-like flavour. I can't think of any other way to describe it. I've got that here. I like it. It's summery. It's fresh. It, it would also lend itself to kind of more autumnal uh, things with that, with that dried dark fruit thing going on. Is it perfect? It's not perfect, no. I would like a little bit more crisp green kind of Bramley and like I say, Granny Smith type flavors. Those are the apple flavors I love. Um, it's authentic enough, but that, that overriding sweetness, um, it says it's like a medium, it said medium, yeah, medium dry. Um, it's not overly dry. And uh, yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna knock it down a little bit there. I'm gonna give it the half on the flavor. So I just like a little bit more sort of sharpness and bite from mine. And the finish, like I say, medium dry, it's, not that dry, it's really not. The apple flavours do last for a reasonable amount of time. Not in a big way, um, but again, that raisin thing really overrides the apple. Oh, there's, a, there's a hint of dryness. Okay, we'll, be, we'll, we'll not split hairs. There is some dryness. It's not brilliant. It's not as uh, sort of promising as it could be. Uh, I like it though. Is it is it brilliant? Not quite, I'm gonna give it the half again, which means I've given it one, two, three and a half out of five on the untapped scoreboard of joy. So not a bad effort from uh, Thatcher's on, on the zero. Uh, I know it's of course all personal taste. We all like different things. I prefer mine sharper and drier uh, and hazy. You might prefer them sort of more sweet a little bit more effervescent and clear as a bell. Who knows? Anyway, we're at the point in the video where I'm gonna say down there are some buttons. You know exactly what to do with them by now. You've got like, comment, dislike, and subscribe. And definitely let me know in the comment section if you've tried Thatcher's Zero and what you thought of it. On that note, I'm gonna go drink the rest of this cider, get the video uploaded for your viewing pleasure. Catch you again soon. Bye.